More disturbing accusations on the horizon for Prince Andrew? An expert explains what the Epstein list could mean for the disgraced royal. The depraved tale of millionaire Jeffrey Epstein keeps revealing even more sordid details. In 2019, the financier was arrested on charges of sex trafficking and later died in jail while awaiting trial. Epstein's associate, Ghislaine Maxwell, was convicted in 2021 for her participation in distributing the young girls throughout Epstein's sexual circle and is serving a 20-year sentence. She's also the target of a lawsuit filed in 2015 by Virginia Jufre, one of Epstein's victims. Jufre accused accused Maxwell of sexually parceling her out to several famous people, including Prince Andrew, Duke of York, who vehemently denied the allegations. Jufre then filed a civil suit directly against Andrew, citing several instances of sexual assault. Andrew made a deal with his accuser to settle out of court in 2022. But Queen Elizabeth II's child has yet to escape his association with Epstein. Nearly 200 names associated with the late sex offender Jeffrey Epstein have been released to the public Prince Andrew is one of the names repeatedly listed on the newly released court papers from the 2015 lawsuit. In deposition transcripts, Epstein's housekeeper revealed that Andrew called the millionaire's house once a week, while Maxwell appeared to confirm that Andrew visited Epstein's island. And there were questions about Andrew's introduction to underage females. What does all this mean for the Duke? The list spoke with a lawyer to find out what could potentially happen. A prince and a duke, Andrew's relationship to the British royal family won't help him in or out of a court of law. Nema Romani, president of West Coast Trial Lawyers, explained, Being named on the list presents some problems for Andrew. It will draw more attention to the shameful allegations against Andrew and further embarrass the royal family. But you were staying at the house of yes. a convicted sex offender. It was a convenient place to stay. Prior to settling the civil suit Virginia Jufre filed against the Duke, Queen Elizabeth II stripped Andrew of his royal duties, saying that he would be defending himself as a private citizen to distance the scandal from the royal family. In the past, Andrew has acknowledged Epstein was a friend at one point, but has consistently denied he was ever involved with any aspect of the illegal side of his life. The Duke of York has also maintained that their relationship resulted from his knowing Maxwell, who introduced the two. When Virginia Jufre initially accused Andrew of sexual assault, the royal agreed to answer questions about the alleged events. During his infamous interview with BBC, he repeatedly denied all allegations. I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady. And when he settled the suit with Jufre outside of court, his lawyers submitted a letter to the judge which said in part, Prince Andrew regrets his association with Epstein. He pledges to demonstrate his regret for his association with Epstein by supporting the fight against the evils of sex trafficking and by supporting its victims. But in his exclusive interview with The List, Neymar Romani also indicated there is a small, though unlikely, possibility of Andrew being brought up on criminal charges of sexual abuse in light of the newly released documents. If that happens, the Duke will find himself on his own once again. Romani said, in the unlikely event Andrew is prosecuted, there is little the royal family can do to help, aside from paying for his legal fees. Diplomatic immunity won't apply because sex with minors is outside the scope of one's official duties. Since the documents also associate Andrew with at least one other underage victim, there may be other legal consequences looming. Romani added, any other victims Andrew allegedly abused may be motivated to come forward and sue him.